today's video. Bit of bike maintenance today. I'm out on the gravel bike. I've made a few tweaks and changes ahead of the upcoming bike packing trips that I'm doing. Just in the woods now, heading to a little lookout point. Gonna ride up a local hill and I'll show you what I've done. Legs are feeling pretty smashed after training with Rob yesterday, I've got to admit. Nice to have a chill one today. Although this hill is pretty steep. So you off-road guys will be happy to know I finally installed the Conti gravel tyres onto this bike. Some of you already know these are a prototype so they actually have no branding on them. I've given them a couple of rides now, no single track or anything, but a little bit of local gravel out in the Surrey Hills and I'm well impressed. Like I said before, tread on the centre is actually pretty fine so you can still roll pretty quickly on the roads and when the gravel's compact, a little bit thicker on the edges, a million times easier than riding my slicks. Wheels, I've actually got an impending upgrade coming on Monday. I'm going to be doing a giveaway for the holy wheels, which are these. If someone's got a hole in, ride at your own risk. I'll explain more details to come. That'll be in Tuesday's video. Got to make a trip up to Drews. So many people have asked me about this. When I went up to Durham, I needed to take my drone with me. I didn't have a bar bag, so I invented this solution. It's fastened on exactly the same as a normal Fidlock bottle, so on one of these brackets. Fits on just like a bottle cage. And what Fidlock have done here is created the same sort of mounting system that you find on the back of a bottle, but instead of being attached to a bottle, it has a boa, the same you find on some shoes, which you can wrap around pretty much anything. I think it's designed for other bottles mainly, or bananas they say, but I wrapped it around my drone. Now the cable's not quite long enough to fit twice around the drone, so I just use a big thick elastic band uh, for now. Bear with me, I'm looking to see if I can do a bit of research and find a longer boa from somewhere. Pretty decent way to carry a drone, as long as you've got mounts on your forks for a bottle like I have here. Last but not least, bar bag. Now I know there's lots of options out there but it's been difficult finding one that will allow me to fit my GoPro in front of it and this one as you can see will give me space. This one's made by Skin Grows Back. Uh, it doesn't really interfere with you using the drops either. A little bit less capacity because of that but they sell these at Giro Cafe. Really cool Australian brand. Handmade and uh, I yeah, picked one up yesterday. I'm going to be using that in conjunction with a tail fin rack again on the back of the bike. We're riding Land's End John O'Groats on gravel and some of the sections are timed so I want it to be a little bit quicker no panniers this time. I'm gonna have an aero trunk and I'll show you that when it arrives. Anyway, those are my new upgrades. Not really sure what's going on today. It's so gray, it feels like it's going dark already. Not really a day for riding bikes. <laughs> so because it is so nasty outside, I'm not gonna get any bike riding done today. I'm gonna to use today as a bit of a chance to catch up on some editing, have a little bit of a rest, maybe go for a beer. But I'm gonna leave you with a little bit of content that's very important. So in two weeks time, myself and Nick Frendo are gonna be riding across Europe. We're doing it for a cause called Movember, and this is why. I'll put a link down below with more information. Go and check it out. So we're in Movember, yeah. the offices in central London. This is not a good thing to admit to, but my geography is pretty sh shoddy. I don't even know where in London we are. We're in Clerkenwell. Clerkenwell. Yeah. I've heard of it. Movember have kindly lent us their offices and I'm going to be riding for them um, across Europe. Why? Four weeks! <laughs> <laughs> well, we're starting in Biritz and the route is currently um, at 3,000 kilometres. We're going to ride across the Pyrenees, up to Mont Ventoux, then across to the French Alps, then across the border into Italy, just briefly, and then we head up to Switzerland for three days. We cross over back into Italy via the Stelvio and the Umbrella Pass, and then we go and play in the Dolomites. You know, I want to hit 3,000 pounds. I desperately want to hit 3,000 kilometres. Um, if I have the time and the legs, um, I'll keep going. Movember strikes a chord for um, a variety of reasons. It's a men's charity, it's not just mental health, it's testicular cancer, prostate cancer. We all probably know people who have been touched by all three. Every time I talk about this actually, it gets really hard. Yeah. Um, so my depression um, got to a point where I just couldn't cope anymore and I attempted suicide twice. First time I, I, I was a, a, obviously a big wake up call and I got help. The second time I didn't see it coming and got overwhelmed, then realized I had a massive problem and I needed help. So fortunately I'm still here. The last year has been pretty good. 
I opened up at the end of last year and decided I wanted to do something about it. And lots of my friends have done stuff in November over the years, you know, growing silly moustaches like that guy, doing Ride 100 on Brompton. And I just thought there wasn't a better charity for me to support. And I think at the time, actually, when I, when I did start to talk about what I'd struggled with, and I did start to open up, it was actually November, and everything was kind of kicking off around their um, fundraising at the time. So it just made sense. And yeah, here I am, four weeks to go, and <laughs> pretty terrified, <laughs> if I'm being honest. It wasn't that long ago, I was thinking, I've got six months to train for this. It's going to be so easy. And then for a variety of different reasons, whether it's work, you know, I, I picked up man flu, had an operation in January. I was like, oh my God, I've only got four weeks left and then I'm going to go and ride across Europe. It's still difficult, as you probably should tell from this, to talk about stuff. But yeah, every now and then I, I might get an email from someone. I have one at the weekend. And it's, it might be someone just saying, thanks. I felt alone or whatever, and you never are. Um, shit, this is hard. <laughs> There's a lot of people that just don't, you know, don't talk. And that's exactly what I did, and it's the worst thing you can do if doing things like this, if that just gets someone to talk to a friend, relative, that's the motivation really. It's going to be a really nice ride. I hope we raise, you know, a lot of money, but the motivation really is getting that message out there that you might feel it, you're not, uh, you're not alone. <laughs>